Yes, my friend, that is correct. The Stages of Grief were written by Dr. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross for the dying patients in her hospice program. So hear me out. I know there are a lot of people that love the stages and the stages have helped them. And if that is you, by all means, lean into the stages. Here I am in 2006, I'm walking up the stairs to tell my sister that her 10 year old son had in fact drowned at the lake with my family on Father's Day. Immediately, I think to myself, I gotta fix this girl. She's broken. I know nothing about grief at that point. I didn't know how to grieve. So it's 2006, I go to the computer, immediately what's coming up? Five stages, five stages, five stages. I remembered learning those in college. She also remembered learning them in college. So here we are trying to make these stages fit. And it went something like this. I called her every day on the phone and I would ask one question, how are you doing today? And she knew that that meant, what stage are you in? And we tried to make them fit as much as we can until about eight months after Austin had drowned. She said to me, I'm in denial. And I was like, denial? And I lowered my voice and I whispered into the phone. Well, you know he drowned, right? Almost as if she was lo losing her mind. It was at that moment that really sunk into me. These stages are not helpful to us. So I wanna give you a different definition of the stages. So denial, denial is a defense mechanism and we can absolutely use it in our grief. We can push back against what has happened to us because what has happened to us is not fair by any stretch of the imagination. Anger, 100%, is an emotion that sometimes shows up in your grief and sometimes it doesn't. It all depends on you, your relationship with your loved one, your person, and where you're at. But anger can absolutely be an emotion that shows up. Bargaining, in the most basic stage, it's an exchange of one thing for another and you cannot replace the loss. Depression is a mental illness and a state of mind. So it's all of what we're feeling in our grief. And, accept, and acceptance is a practice of allowing the emotions. When you say, I accept, I accept this grief and I'm going to allow these emotions in that go along with the grief. I hope that helps.